So hi guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get admission into med school in these four countries we're going to be talking about russia uh, georgia and uh, ukraine and uzbekistan so the reason why we're going to be talking about these countries is because they have very low requirements for medical students for students because they want to attract more international students and actually boost their rankings let's go the number one on the list is actually Russia. Russia has been the uh, the center of the world's news presently because of its you know the political uh, crisis with Ukraine. But the education system is still very functional. For you to be able to come to Russia, you need to be at least 17 years old. You need to have biology and chemistry on your ex uh, on your high school certificate, and you need to be HIV negative. If you actually are HIV positive, then you are going to be having you, you are not eligible to actually come to Russia. And uh, the program for general medicine is actually six years. And uh, if you want to do it in a uh, Russian medium, you must take a mandatory one year preparatory course. But if you are doing it in English medium, then just go straight to first year and continue, uh, you know, do your six years. For dentistry, it's actually five years. And uh, for pharmacy, it's also five years. And then we have nursing at four years. But uh, the requirements are very, very, very low because uh, Russia has been trying to attract a lot of international students lately. And uh, you just need your international passport that is valid for two years and your high school certificate that has uh, five science courses. Most including biology and chemistry. So most of you have been asking us if uh, actually the political crisis with uh, uh, Ukraine has affected us. Actually, it hasn't affected us in any way because we have been here for the last, so I think, 11 months since the beginning of the, the uh, you know, the the crisis, and we have not been bombed and <laughs> we are still alive and everything is functioning perfectly. I'd like to equate what is happening presently in Russia with uh, you know the when the American troops were actually in Iraq. The crisis is not happening in Russia. The Russian troops are in another country. So uh, we in Russia are completely safe and there is nothing going on here that will stop the education. So if you still want to come study in Russia and you are eligible, then of course uh, we can even help you to check your documents. And if you qualify, we can connect you with an agency that will get you your admission as soon as possible. And by September, you'll be already here to study. The Russian degree, medical degree, is recognized by the World Health Organization, is recognized by the Medical Council of India, is recognized recognized by the US and believe for those of you that I want to practice in America and even the PLAP test for those of you that actually want to practice in the UK. So the Russian medical degree is recognized worldwide regardless of what is happening right now in the world. The Russian education is one of the best in the world and if you actually study in Russia you're going to be competing with a lot of people you know, on the world stage with a lot of people that graduated in countries like America, the UK, Germany and all those other countries. So the number two on the list is actually Ukraine. Most of you have asked, okay the political crisis is actually in Ukraine, what is actually happening? So Russia said in the beginning of their political uh, campaign that they were going to be targeting only military uh, installations and I think for the most part they have been able to keep that promise because they are not bombing civilian buildings they are only bombing civ uh, military uh, you know installations that is the reason why some universities in Ukraine right now are still functional I have a friend who wanted to go back to Ukraine who at the beginning of the crisis ran back to Nigeria but he told me that he was going to go back to Ukraine by the next month that is February right so that means the universities are still functioning some students are even studying online but to be sincere, I won't advise you to go to Ukraine right now. Well, I've not made a study in Ukraine video, but hopefully if you in the future, if you guys are interested in studying in Ukraine after the political crisis, then please comment below or maybe send us a message on Instagram and we can make a video about how to study in Ukraine. But it's basically the same thing. You just need to pass your science courses in um, biology and chemistry and then uh, you'll be on your way to a, a Ukrainian medical uh, university. Alright, so the third country on the list is actually Georgia. We have made a video on how to study medicine in Georgia. So if you're interested in studying medicine in Georgia, please, uh, the link is going to be in the description below for you guys to go watch. You better still just click on the channel right now, subscribe, and then find the video. It's about 10 months old on how to study medicine in Georgia. We explain all the requirements and everything you actually need to study medicine in Georgia. Plus, you know, um, some of our friends who are currently studying in Georgia that you can contact to tell you more about studying in Georgia. Georgia is a former Soviet nation and uh, they have very good English medium courses, especially for medicine, because they have been doing it for the past uh, 10 years, and their university is ranked one of the best in uh, Eastern Europe. I think I'd, I've forgotten their rating, but of course, if I remember, I'm going to tell you in the next video. That's why you should subscribe. And uh, you know, and for the rest of the video, 
for the rest of the countries they have the same requirements pretty much as russia they only need you to have your of course high school certificate and a, an international passport that is valid for more than two years and then of course you pass an entrance examination but it's, it's just basic knowledge it's uh, if you actually study the bit in high school it's going to be very easy for you to pass that entrance examination because they ask you basic biology questions and basic chemistry questions so if you know the basics of this subject of course you're going to be passed you're going to pass and then get into the uh, university and then we also have an offer because we're in fourth year right now the workload has reduced for us so we're going to be able to help you with your admissions if you are interested in studying in any of these countries we're going to be putting the my email my personal email and Amarachi's email in the description below you can email us with your documents and we'll tell you actually if you're qualified tell us the, your the country of your choice tell us uh, how old you are tell us your country of origin and uh, maybe your high school certificate so that we can see if you're qualified to get admission into these countries and if you are actually qualified we can hook you up with an admission agency or if you want russia i can personally even help you with the admission or in the university of your choice if you actually do qualify so guys thanks a lot for watching today's video please subscribe to the channel for more videos on how to get admission we have made details videos on how to get admission into russia belarus and all these other countries so please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching bye bye